Thank you, everybody. I hope uh, I hope once again that we have well you're, you've been well nourished and hydrated and inspired this morning, uh, much as I, I've been inspired. And now I have um, the pleasure to introduce a, an amazing colleague of mine, Laura De Stefano, who is our director of communications at the National Academy of Medicine. She's been at the academies for several years now and um, has done some really incredible work uh, with us. And she's going to show you some of the work that she's done with her team and with um, Sarah. Sarah must have moved. Sarah, she stepped out. Oh, there she is, <laughs> Sarah Klein. So I'm going to turn it over to Laura to give you an introduction to the first video out of a series of three that you'll see. Hi, everybody. So I'm here to introduce our um, Communities Driving Health Action Video Spotlight Series. So as was mentioned before, the consensus report called Communities in Action uh, profiled nine communities that are doing amazing work in advancing health equity by tackling social determinants of health. Um, and so we chose three of those communities to focus on and create short documentary style videos um, that tell the story of their work. Um, one of the things that the report found is that there are three principles um, that lead to successful community action. Um, those are making health equity a shared vision and value, increasing capacity in communities, and I am blanking on the third one right now. Oh, and working across sectors. Um, so we hope that those three principles come through in the videos. Um, in addition, we just hope that you're inspired by these videos. Um, we've talked a lot about stories of hope and communities telling their own stories. Um, so these are three communities that are doing wonderful things, and I hope that you take away a new motivation from seeing them. So I'd like to recognize my colleague, Molly Doyle. Um, she oversaw the production of the videos. And Sarah Klein, as uh, Kimber mentioned, is from Red Glass Pictures, which produced and directed the video series. Um, the first video that we're going to show um, features Push Buffalo. Um, that stands for People United for Sustainable Housing. Um, and they work on providing uh, safe and affordable housing uh, for people in the Buffalo area. Um, so if we could play that video now. Here on the west side of Buffalo, we have the second oldest housing stock in the nation. The upside of that is we have these incredible old historic homes from the Victorian era. The problem is they lack insulation, they have lead in the walls, there's asbestos in many cases, there's mold, all of which are triggers for serious sicknesses. That affects people in real ways. I came to the West Side in 1980 and uh, I looked around and I saw about 25, 30 different houses, but a lot of them were out of my means. You look at it and you say, I gotta be able to afford what I could afford. And this place just happened to open up. It had a backyard, had a driveway, but it's an old house, you know, and it was like, there was work to be done. But then two years ago, I was hospitalized with kind of a, a lung infection. And they kept saying, well, you know, we don't know what the source is. And then one day I'm sitting down and I said, you know, I gotta get something from the back room. Went in there and the room was black. Black mold, yes. I didn't know what to do, I didn't know where to go and uh, I didn't want people to know because I was scared the city was gonna come and say, you can't live here. And then where am I gonna go? Being trapped in a dwelling that you know is making you sick is emotional and it carries a lot of weight. And so PUSH started 13 years ago to address comprehensively the challenge of unhealthy and unaffordable housing in our community. Luz needed major repair done. She's also a fixed income with health issues and she's, you know, it's people like that you don't want to see suffer. I was home thinking, how am I going to get through all this? And somebody knocks on the door from PUSH. They told me about all the programs that they had. They kept saying, you know, we can help you. There's stuff we can do. Then they came in and it was like, oh, okay, we gotta get a mold person here. We got people that need to look at your roof. People that need to look at the wall that's crumbling down. I mean, from the moment they came, they made me feel involved. And that made a big difference in giving me a lot of hope.
We have partnerships with labor unions, with a whole array of community justice groups, with health groups, with universities, bringing resources to our communities for the work that needs to get done. And so we've really transformed hundreds of dwellings in this community from unhealthy, toxic places to live to being quality, affordable housing. That means fewer hospital visits, healthier children, and more wealth building and jobs. What's unique about PUSH is we've really taken cues from the community to do the work that we've done. It's not, oh, look what we can do for you. Here, here's a present. We are real people with real power. And the reason why we're so successful is we've been able to develop leaders and empower people to stand up for themselves. They got me involved in going to meetings and learning the things that I need to do to help myself and to help my community. They gave me a sense of power. Sorry. <laughs> so, as Lauren mentioned, that's you know one of the videos that um, Sarah Klein, who's in the back of the room over there, actually directed, and she um, was responsible for putting this together and working closely with our team.